So what this algo does uh, is it uh, draws a green box if commercials are heavily long. And it, it will um, draw green triangles if retail is heavily short. And then I have one other uh, thing happening in the background. I look at a smoothed on balance volume indicator. And that basically takes the on balance volume, smooths it out so it's not quite so jagged. And when it is sloped to the upside, the price bars are green. And when it is sloped to the downside, price bars are red. So um, whenever we have a green box and we're within 10 bars of green triangles and we have a green bar, that is a buy signal. So you can see that this algo uh, would have suggested getting long on November 15th at the close on November 15th of 2016 and then as you can see as price continued to move to the upside into early March uh, retail continued to chase it higher and by the time it uh, reached this bar right here 80% um, of retail traders were bullish and every time one of these triangles appeared um, retail was at least 80 percent uh, bullish and you can see that by the time it, uh, we got to March 1 they were 92 percent bullish on that date but you can also see that just because the retail trader is extremely bullish doesn't mean that we're going to get a immediate uh, turn to the downside of the markets so uh, the purpose of this algo was to find a way to wait for that critical moment to suggest either exiting the long or possibly shorting. And um, the way this algo worked is it, it waited for a red box and it waited for any red triangles within the last 10 bars and then within the red box took short um, or suggested a short uh, on the first red candle so that'd be on March 3rd so that was a beautiful trade now, you know from um, November 15 through March 3 uh, with a single um, ES contract that's over ten thousand dollars to the upside and then from that short um, th the way I suggest using this algo to my subscribers is um, to stay short as long as the trend is down until you get a buy signal but in in this case right here the trend was up how do we know behind the scenes here I'll bring up a uh, accumulation distribution um, indicator right here and that's the Williams accumulation distribution and it is uh, during this entire March April period you can see that it was above a 57 period moving average of the Williams that's why it stayed green it only turns red if it is below that moving average so the trend was still up on a daily basis and that that idea of how to use uh, the accumulation distribution and a moving average of it to determine trend is something uh, that uh, Jake Bernstein uh, came up with and still uses today so uh, we'll put that away and we can see that that um, the trend remained up that entire time and um, and so it would probably be advisable in that situation that as soon as the uh, commercials got back to the long, the extreme long side then you just exit out of that cell so that would be the first green bar within a green box it does not uh, the exit because the trend is up would not require that retail be positioned extremely short there so that would be um, a profit of in the neighborhood of a thousand dollars on that short position 
Now, it didn't really suggest uh, a long position here. I suppose a person could have looked to uh, get long just simply based on trend following using the uh, Williams accumulation distribution. But the next signal on this system um, didn't happen for a while. You can see that uh, during June, early June right here, retail uh, became extremely bullish again, but the commercials were also bullish. And that's why this box was green, so there was no signal here. So the next signal was a short signal, and that was uh, once commercials uh, became short, that was during the month of July, then had to wait for retail to get into position where they were over 80% long on the DSI and then wait for a candle to turn red based on the smooth on balance volume indicator. So on July 26th there was a sell signal there and um, but then it didn't last long. There was a, a green box and a green candle just a, a slight bit a few days later and that probably would have been a small loss of about $175 on that short. And then uh, recently uh, you can see on the S&P that um, we, we, you know, commercials got short during this period here, but we never saw retail get extremely long during that period, so there was no signal. And now, here on October 10 of 2017, we've had several days uh, in a row ever since... Um, October 2nd that the retail has been extremely bullish the highest reading was an 89 on October 5 but we don't have um, commercials all in to the short side yet and uh, so the commercials would all of a sudden need to become extremely short that would create a red box we would have the red triangles in place and then we would look for a red bar inside of that box in order to get a sell signal there so we don't have that yet. And um, uh, while this system isn't perfect, I think it does give a, a very good idea of where the spread is between the conditioning and what is likely to occur based on that spread. Now, um, a lot of this is based on Larry Williams' writings. Uh, and um, he, Larry Williams also mentioned that, as, that sentiment on stocks isn't as reliable as it is on uh, metals or uh, other commodities and so let's take a quick look at gold and see how this uh, same exact algo uh, did on gold. So here's the gold algo and uh, you'll notice that uh, I can have uh, the the software uh, show me where buy signals um, have occurred with these large green sti uh, stripes and show me where uh, the sell signals are coming in with the uh, pink stripes. And so uh, on gold, um, going back uh, about the last year, you can see uh, back on October 12, this is prior to the election, we got a green box. That meant that, meant that commercials were long using the Wilco indicator and we got green triangles a whole bunch of them leading into that um, which meant that the retail was very bearish and um, when we got into the green box we got our first uh, green candle which meant the on balance volume started uh, sloping to the upside that would be the smoothed on balance volume and so a buy signal came in on 10 12. well we all know about the huge reversal that that happened on the night of the uh, of the election, but um, that um, gold had moved up so far uh, by that time that um, uh, stops would have been in place well uh, into profit uh, before uh, the move to the downside occurred. Uh, and then um, you can see that. Um, out of the election, gold just got smashed for a long time. As a matter of fact, retail started getting very short very quickly. Um, every one of these green triangles meant that retail traders were less than 20% bullish. But you can see that because of the on-balance volume, the smooth on-balance volume indicator, those candles stayed red until December 28 of of, of 
2016. As a matter of fact, the commercials that have already uh, been building a long position uh, against this move down in gold. And um, so they got long on uh, um, as early as back here. But because the bars stayed red, there was no signal until 1226. So that was really a perfect signal because that was the beginning of a strong move. And we really didn't get a reversal signal in gold until uh, April 25th of 2017. That's where we had a red box in place. That meant the commercials were short. We were recently off of a 90 DSI reading, so retail was heavily long. And by the uh, and then the unbalanced volume rolled over and uh, started sloping to the downside. That'd be the smooth unbalanced volume indicator. So we got a sell signal there, and that was in the early stages of a strong move to the downside there. Um, very nearly got a sell signal uh, right here. Red box, red candle, but we didn't have any red triangles within 10 bars, but we were very close. The DSI was as high as 78. So I, I would call that a weak sell signal. We needed an 80 to get a red triangle. Didn't get it. Um, got a 78 and it started heading down there. And then on 7-10, July 10, an excellent buy signal from this algo. Uh, commercials were uh, uh, building a long position down into that low. Retail uh, continued to become more and more bearish all the way to the bottom. As soon as on balance volume ticked to the upside, then there was a buy signal. It was actually at the close on the, the, the bottom price candle of that swing that was on July 10. Beautiful move to the upside and really didn't get a sell signal or very close to a signal, sell signal until one candle off after the top. On, on September 11, there was a, what I call a weak sell signal. We had the red box, but we only hit 79 on, on retail bullishness. We're just one digit away from what I look for in order to, to for it to create a red triangle here. So um, that was uh, what I call a weak sell signal and uh, gold moved down from there and just we just on uh, October 4 got a weak buy. So the green box means that um, commercials were long. Retail didn't quite hit 20. It got down to 23. So a little bit of a bounce here after that weak buy signal. But I think you can see how this algo works and how it gives some excellent information, including some actual um, trade signals based on the spread of extreme positioning between commercials and retail. So the sentiment algo is one of the four algorithms that uh, I uh, show in my webinars every week. Now these uh, algos produce signals on a daily basis. The, the webinar only occurs uh, on weekends and so that's why I came up with my new service, uh, the premium level of service where I send out a nightly report uh, showing if there's been any new signals based on the algorithms that I use. Uh, Cinemat is the first one that I use all on daily charts. I have a divergence algo that I use. It's currently on a buy. I have an 888 algo that I use. This is uh, Jake Bernstein's uh, idea, uh, this system, and it's on a buy from October 9, and then a trend following algo that's slower to react, very effective on strong trending markets like, for instance, the U.S. stock market uh, this entire year. I just wanted to let you know about my uh, cinnamon algo primarily and um, how it works and how my subscribers benefit from knowing uh, exactly what's going on uh, with this algo and my others. Thanks for watching. See you soon.